So my is that still around? It is. I don't even know how to get into someone it. Told I me one it day is still around. Yeah, I think someone told me one day it was making a comeback. I don't think so. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to my friend Tiffany Lee Bymaster, aka Coach Glitter. Tiffany and I had so much fun talking together. She shares her inspiring story of how she got started, how she found her passion, and then made it into her full-time business. She shares many awesome tips to be brave, to share what you're good at, and build your own business too, so that you can live your passion and go out each day living your life on purpose. Tiffany is not only super genuine, beautiful, and fun, but she is a seasoned professional makeup artist, stylist, and image consultant based in Southern California with over 16 years working in fashion, runway, film, TV, print, commercial, and video. Tiffany's work has been featured in Oxygen, Shape, and Fitness Magazine. Her extensive TV work includes Beverly Hills Nannies, The Real Housewives of Orange County, America's Next Top Model, The Bachelor, and various shows and specials on Bravo, VH1, MTV, ABC, CNN, and Fox News. Today, Tiffany helps many people look their best on video, improve their personal branding, and build their online and social media presence. She has an eye and gift for bringing out the very best in not only her clients, but really everyone she meets. And she believes that when you feel confident about yourself from the inside out, you have the power to go after anything and live the life of your dreams. Tiffany, I'm so happy you are here today. Thank Seriously. you for having me. I'm Yay. so excited to be here. So I've been wanting you to come and chat with me for a couple months, maybe okay. a couple years. Oh. I'm not going to lie. Okay. I really, really admire you. And oh. um, I mean, I think I, I met you years ago, but you know, I remember having you on the set and doing all the makeup for Turbo Fire. Yeah. And that was so fun to just like see your face and be like, oh my gosh, do I look okay? Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but I'm just, I really admire you and it's been so fun watching you grow your business and I think for me just being friends with you and watching you grow as a person, like oh, thank just you. watching your own confidence and your success has just yeah. been really cool. So thank you so much for taking time to come chat with me today. Yeah, I'm excited. Yay. So for people that are tuning into this today mm -hmm. and they're wondering, okay, who is Tiffany Lee Bymaster and why is she called Coach Glitter, <laughs> the one and only Coach Glitter? Uh -huh. I want to see if you would give us some of your background and tell us a bit about yeah. yourself. Well, I've been a makeup artist for, I'm going on 15 years now. But you're only like 12. 12. Yeah. <sighs> this is wild. 12. Okay, Math wow. is not my strong suit. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be my 15th year. That's awesome. But prior to makeup, I actually started off as a stylist. Okay. And I did that all through college and I was... It's so funny because I never looked at it as a real job. It was just mm -hmm. like this really fun job that I didn't realize at the time how well I was being paid and how much fun it was. And I was like, okay, this is too much fun for it to be a real job. So I was That's going awesome. through college, got my degree. And while I was doing that, I had been working for a really large department store and then started becoming a personal stylist there. Mm -hmm. And then I, I got recruited from a really amazing designer. That's and so I'm like 19. Awesome. So I don't understand any of what's, you know, wow. you just don't understand what's in front of you. Yeah. At least I didn't. I think I was like 19 years old. Oh my gosh. So then I went to go work for this really large designer and um, they had just opened a, literally a campus in Irvine. And I was just doing all kinds of stuff there, learning everything about fashion. Mm -hmm. And I really just was so attracted to the fashion shows that they oh, did. Oh, cool. And they did in-house as well as huge shoots. And I got to work on that. And th mm -hmm. so that exposed me to fashion shows and right. fashion shoots and, and the makeup artists. Oh, how so that was the first time I've really seen makeup artists, like production makeup artists mm -hmm. working. So that was like, once I got exposed to that, that really sparked my interest. Okay. And, um, but then I graduated college and I decided to go the corporate right, no! the route. Oh my because gosh. that's what that's you what grow up thinking. Exactly. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. that's the path that you're supposed to do. Right. So I graduated college and then I eventually went more corporate and I was oh an HR gosh. manager. And no I, way. Sitting, if you've ever seen <laughs> a caged animal, yeah. that's what I was like oh, in no. my little cubicle. And then I had a little oh. office and I was like, this, it's a caged animal. I've I never was heard literally like that. caged. That's funny. That's, I was a caged animal. Like, so I'm inside. assuming you didn't like it. <laughs> no, I mean, I did. I was great at my job. I did it for a long time. And yeah. then I kept on going back to doing makeup oh, okay. on the side just for fun again. Oh my God. So after, I think I was in my mid-20s, I decided, you know, I really cannot do this anymore. Like, I 
am going to lose my mind. Like, right. this is not what I'm supposed to be doing with my right. life. And so I had been engaged for a long time. We just got married. And my husband's like, you need to pursue this more. Like, yeah. I know you're doing this part time, but you're meant to do other things. And awesome. so having so many people tell me, you know, open your eyes, like this, right. look into how you can make this a career. Yeah. So I did a ton of research and it came to the point where I wasn't making as much money doing my full-time corporate job, mm -hmm. but I was making enough where we figured out the numbers. We sat down, crunched the numbers and we struggled, yeah. but we made it. That's and awesome. we made it happen and it was worth the struggle and the sacrifices that we made. Wow. So I quit my job, I resigned, and I decided to pursue makeup full time. Prior to doing that though, I'd done a lot of research. So I wasn't mm -hmm. going to figure out figure it all out once I right. quit. I had figured it out, had a plan, oh, that's and knew what I wanted to do because makeup's a really broad, I mean, it's a huge field. There's mm -hmm. different avenues that people can take. The industry's changed a lot. There's a lot of new things that didn't exist when I first started. So how I started back then is gonna be a really different, f you know, for someone who's just starting now, because right. there's so many more possibilities. Yeah. Like there was no YouTube back then. Mm -hmm. There's so many people who get a start on YouTube, just like Gosh. it is for singers and musicians. Yeah. So it's, it's amazing. Yeah, there's so many possibilities. And that's what I've been able to do with my career now is just to kind of expand on what I've done, my experience, who I want to work with, and be able to do that online. Right. So, and that's when you know that's, that's your passion. When you, know. when you like light up and you're just like, I want to do this yeah. and I don't care how much I get paid. And yeah. that is really awesome. And sometimes those things that spark that passion in you, you are the one that diminishes that flame. You're like, that's not a real thing. I like know. that's just a hobby or it's a fun thing, but it's not because right. there's so, anything that you're good at, that you're better than the average person mm -hmm. or you can help other people either make their lives easier, faster, more efficient, right. make themselves feel better, look better, perform better, any of those things, whatever that thing is for mm -hmm. you, that is a possibility for what you can yes. do as a career. Right, totally. And that's yeah. all you have to do is like have that. That niche, yes. that expertise and that and then passion. Expand right? on it. Oh, that's so awesome. I know a lot of people watching this will be like, that is that's what i want to do and they yeah. might not want to be a makeup artist exactly. or stylist yeah but they might say you know what there is something in me when i sit in as a caged animal oh. and <laughs> i'm in my cubicle and i'm doing my job and i'm yeah. earning my paycheck and i'm paying my bills yes i need this job mm -hmm. but something else there's a fire in me mm -hmm. and there's something that i know i'm good at yeah and to know that just you know doing the research and the work right. is going to inspire them you right. have already inspired me <laughs> so that is so awesome. Yeah. I love, I didn't know a lot of that about you. So that is really, really cool. Yeah. Oh my so gosh. 14 years later, I've been doing this going into 15 years and you have to be so like, you know, mm -hmm. like where you, your career just takes on this windy, twisty path. Yes. And you, I think to be a successful entrepreneur, you have to be really okay like you have to love and embrace as mm -hmm. scary as it is not right. knowing all the answers doing mm -hmm. stuff way before you're ready right jumping and, in just and doing. being able to recover when you fall down yes that's huge yeah. right well you same thing in okay. any industry where it's a skill mm -hmm. um you're learning from other people so mm -hmm. i was an apprentice for a very long time i was the best i learned how to be the best assistant that's awesome. and that's something that's really hard for me to find nowadays mm -hmm. is people really don't want to do the hustling and the you work in the beginning the hustle. You gotta pay your dues i hate when people say it but it's true i yes. mean how do you learn hard work pays off and, and I, I think of not like kids these days but sometimes when i think of like you know, what's going on right now, people think that success is just going to come because they love it yeah. or because they signed up to do a certain thing or, yes. you know, I, I should earn this amount of money. You have to put in the work. You Even what put I in do, the work. I have to put in the work. I yeah. put in a couple years of work and now it's paying off. Yeah. But it's so worth it. Those nights staying up late, yeah. being on your feet yeah. or whatever it is. Carrying that, others, you know, everyone right. else's, you know, makeup kids yes. and schlepping stuff everywhere but for other people. What got me and gave me total goosebumps uh -huh. is when you said, but I had my big goal in mind. Yes. And, and I think that's important for someone to know, this is what I want and, and focusing on that goal. And yeah. we have some great mentors. We that, do. We have similar mentors. We sought them out though. Yes, we sought them we out. We don't, you know, just yes. sit in our house waiting for them We'd to like, land oh, in our lap. Yeah, yeah we do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have tried that. No, but we do. We have mentors and we chose to hang out with people mm -hmm. that pushed us. Yes. And we chose to hang out with 
people that were going to make us better yeah. and, and helped us focus on those goals. So um, is there anything that you can share to someone who's, you know, like, I don't have a mentor and can I maybe get read about this or where can yeah. I go? Where did you go? Well, in the beginning, I didn't surround myself with the right people. And I think that's why I took such a longer than necessary route mm -hmm. to get to where I am. And okay. I think people who are really smart, they're going to dive into and my number one tip is that I didn't do until okay. just recently right. was to get into personal development. Okay, I am learning so much from you. It's it's, it's crazy. So fun. And it, and it, I love talking with you because like I already feel like I know you, but like yeah. getting to know you deeper and like oh. how uh, I'm learning from you. So I, know, I like, love why it. Why don't we do this I know. more? And I'm thinking to about now. this. We're going to how now. great it is that you know, I'm I don't consider myself I just feel like I'm just on the very brink of really building my business. Mm -hmm. It's taken me this long. Okay. But it's like, I think that there needs to be more, especially with women, yeah. like other women who are doing what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's not even a competition thing. It's a no. support Why? thing. We should all empower each other and exactly. encourage each and other. And we just help our businesses yes. together. And I do that a lot now. I've, I've been, I'm like, there isn't enough of it, so I'm yeah. going to start it. Good. So I do a lot of that myself. I love Just it. with my own accountability groups. Yeah. And and my small, you know, circle of friends right. I've that I work with, that. yeah, that's changed everything. Right. But yeah, we need more of this. We do need more of this. And that's the point of this. I, I was like, w I just need to motivate women to just yeah. believe in themselves and then go for it. And yeah. know that like, we're all there to cheer you on, mm -hmm. you know? And don't you think that when you empower other women and you have groups like this, mm -hmm. then you're surrounded by people who are even going to push you more Absolutely. in a really good way. Yeah. Like, because if I'm the leader of this group, mm -hmm. it holds, that's an extra level of account yes. accountability for me yes. to make sure I keep doing all you're the work too. Slack, no, you're going to lead, slack. but you're also going to be involved. Absolutely. That's so awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So real quick, mm -hmm. before I forget, yeah. if people want to go and find you, oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't even tell you, like didn't even tell them that you're coachglitter.com yes okay so my website's coachglitter.com mm -hmm. i'm coach glitter everywhere the fairy glass mother <sighs> yes do i have glass on no you're good oh good not on your team oh like you oh, good, good, no, you're good, all good. good okay thank yeah. god could you imagine <laughs> could you imagine i'm hanging out with the fairy glass mother and my lips are not glassed oh my gosh um but yeah. so coachglitter.com mm -hmm. and i know personally that i have learned a lot from you but you know what's so awesome about you is you give so much for free i have a ton I of mean, free content so and i much. think anybody who's building their business online regardless of what field they're in right and that's how you create a community is okay. by sharing what you know and right. really being out there and answering questions mm -hmm. as much as you can yeah so so you went from you know working like standing at these shoots and on these yeah. shows and all of that and then you know when you what made you make the transition to like I want to have a blog and I want to go and maybe use other avenues which you can cover and share yeah. with us how you decided how I'm going to go from here step A to step mm -hmm. B so that you could tell people watching this like you have this job you have this passion mm -hmm. how can I change it so that I can have more freedom in my life so whether you're working in your dream field or you're not mm -hmm. but you know what that thing is mm -hmm. I just thought of okay I keep getting the same questions mm -hmm. over and over again right. so how can I answer it so that it's there for people to find mm -hmm. and that's when I first created my blog on MySpace oh my gosh so my is that still around it is I don't even know how to get into someone it someone told I me one day it, it is was, still around yeah I think someone told me one day it was making a comeback I don't think so it's like Justin Timberlake invested oh in it, and it still God. didn't make a comeback. But, <laughs> but like, Justin tried. I like, know. oh my goodness! I mean, everyone needs to realize. Like yeah. when you said, "What questions are people asking me all the time?" Yeah, people watching this should know that people are asking them questions all Sometimes the time. Sometimes it's the and it's something that you oh take for gosh. granted. Something it, that is yes. just part of you. It is so obvious to you mm -hmm. that you dismiss it. Right. Like you don't even realize because right. it's so obvious. Right. And it's always that thing. Yeah. But it's something that people need to realize they can share. Mm -hmm. And there's all these different ways, which we're going to cover in a second. Yeah. And, and there's things that people want to learn, and they will actually pay money to learn, right. which is so awesome. That is so cool. And I don't actually make a product. You know, right. I, my product is me yes. and my expertise and my mm -hmm. knowledge and what mm -hmm. I can share with other people. Right. And I think but that, that is a product, like yes, your knowledge and your and expertise and you can package and your lessons. That, right. And I'm learning that. Like, right. you can actually take your expertise and package it. Yes, yes. But it's not like I don't make, like, I don't have a makeup line. Right. That's not something I ever want to do. Right. No, no, no. <laughs> you know the work that goes oh into it, and you don't want to be that. It's right. already been right. done, and right. you know there's ways to do it super easy, and I'll never do mm -hmm. it. But that, so. it, and I've learned this even from Shalene, where people they love fitness, so mm -hmm. they think they need to be the next fitness star. Yes. And we don't have to. That no. we we see that's 
that's great. She's she's so wonderful. Uh -huh. That's perfect for her. But for me, I don't want to be away from my family. Like there's certain things where I'm like, yeah. Oh, but there's ways I can help people right. online with their health and fitness, and that's what I do. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's and I love that, and it's super rewarding. And that's and really all of new. That, so. so a lot of people don't even know that that's mm -hmm. a possibility. Right. So that's why I'm like, I love when yes. all these really smart, right. successful women who figured out how to do things mm -hmm. that's not the normal path. Right. And but I think it's such a much better, fun, awesome, such cool path. A a path that also that gives us freedom to be home with our kids yes. and our husbands and our family and travel and do all these things without being in a cage. Yes. So that's and I really and cool. that's something I learned to define like what is my definition of success because mm -hmm. for me for a long long time it wasn't about the first thing wasn't at um, the first thing on the top of the list of how I defined how I was successful right. wasn't how much money I was bringing right. in but with making a bigger income mm -hmm. you have much more options. So many more options. Yeah, yeah. It, it makes life easier. It does. It does. And I don't actually want to slow down. I actually want to do more. That's great. But I, I feel like I'm doing it easier. Like mm -hmm. physically, it's easier for me. Yes. So I think and what you what love, it, when you love, love something, look how excited you get when you talk about makeup and you talk about yeah. everything. It's that's what people need to understand. If they're wondering how can I be an entrepreneur, how can I own my own business, mm -hmm. just share what excites you. Yeah. And Teach if you're not what sure what it you. is, ask your closest oh, friends what am family. I good at yeah because yes. they'll be able to they're like duh yeah it's that thing and you're like oh my gosh yeah I didn't even think of it even put it on Facebook if I could teach you four things yes what would it be that's how yeah. that's what people can do and how to find out what their niche is right so we're gonna go off of the business part for just yeah. a second here and I just want to know as a makeup artist mm -hmm. what are three tips that you could give any female who is watching this because we all want to look our best you of know course. so if you could give three tips Give them. Okay. So We're my taking notes. number one tip, and this is for both women and men, Ooh, is nice. to pay attention to your eyebrows. Oh. And not that I like guys who have like overly manicured eyebrows, but even men need a little bit of cleaning up. A little grooming. Yeah, a little grooming okay. won't yeah. hurt anybody. Okay. That's it's really good. good. My other two tips are to take your makeup off every night. Okay, fine. Ninety percent of yes. the time. If Huge. I know there are times when you're exhausted. Right. At least have a wipey and yeah. just take off the makeup and then collapse into your bed. Mm -hmm. But taking off your makeup every night is really, really important okay. because it's not just taking off whatever grit and grime and all the stuff that's on your face right. on top of your makeup, but it's that opportunity to then put in the great skincare products on top that your skin needs and let the repairing happen at night. While you're sleeping. Oh, that's huge. Mm -hmm. And then my third tip is mm -hmm. to, and this is something I wish I knew when I was younger, is to stay out of the sun. Wow. Uh -huh. Stay out. I mean, I was a swimmer and a lifeguard. Southern California through, girl I here. Know. All right. Yeah, I grew Darn up it. swimming and I was a lifeguard through college. Okay. So sunscreen. stay out of the sun, wear big hats, and sunscreen. All right. I mean, that is the Those number all really one anti-aging okay. thing that you can do. And if you have younger kids, do it. I now. mean, I can't believe tanning beds. Oh, are. they're still there. How do they exist? I don't and people know. go in them. Just get a spray tan. Knowingly. People. Oh I, my goodness. I love spray tans. Oh. Okay, that's so good. All right, so my last question is. Uh, three quick things that you could share that like if I just if I wrote this on your blog you know on your Facebook and I was like Tiffany you have inspired me which I know everyone is being inspired today and so motivated to go and kick some butt so thank yeah. you but if they're like okay I just want you to I've listened and now I'm like oh my gosh I'm so excited mm -hmm. give me three things that I can go out and do tomorrow to go and totally just be so driven to go and achieve my goals and, and, and I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not a stylist, yeah. but give me three tips to be like a really successful entrepreneur. Write down on paper what your goals are. Like write down and get really, really specific. Take an hour out of your week just to figure out what it is that you want from your life. And if you're not sure exactly how you can translate that into a career, even like a part-time career possibility, you got to start somewhere. Uh -huh. Ask a friend oh, okay. and talk to some friends and get really serious. And then the next thing you can do is look at who you're surrounding yourself with. Well, that's a big one because yeah. if you have, maybe you know what you want to do and you've just been, for whatever reason, don't have the confidence to go out there and pursue it. And then you get the courage and you tell a friend and then they just diminish your dreams. You got to look at the people that you're surrounding mm -hmm. with. I know you have one more tip to share, but what if, I'm just thinking it, what if someone watching is like, you know, 
I don't feel like my family knows the passion that I have or we don't come from an entrepreneurial family mm -hmm. or I have friends that would maybe laugh at me or judge me. Uh -huh. What would that individual do if she wanted to be surrounded by, what do you think? Like what advice? Not that you know. Oh. I don't know what they could do. For but me, it's online. Them. It's okay. like finding the right community, finding okay. the right people. There's and places I think you can find them. There is. And yeah. just even, you know, regular people like yeah. us that are yeah. online that share things. Yeah. There's... I've had so many mentors from afar. I've mm -hmm. never met them. I, I may never meet them, right. but they've mentored me, yes. whether they know it or not, yes. through books. Like, become yes. a learner. Just because you're not in college anymore mm -hmm. or high school right. doesn't mean you stop learning. This yeah. is where the learning really counts. Mm -hmm. So start reading a book. Yes. You know, it's like, the, when was the last mm -hmm. time you actually read a personal oh development book? And that's a great place to start. Yeah. There's a lot of people on YouTube like yeah, you yeah. who are creating great informational right. content right. on where to start. Yeah, and then you um, just start you start conversating with those people. You yes. know, talking and, and you get that support and it is crazy. I mean, yep. so many of my team members, I've never physically gotten to hug or be around. Right. We've met through Facebook and I literally cry on the phone with them. Yeah. It's just awesome. So even if, like, let's say they listen, they read a book or they listen to a audio, mm -hmm. they could go to that author's Facebook page and start talking yeah. with people there. Like that, if people are other thinking, people well, that, that are attracted to that same exactly. thing, exactly. Yes. You're going to be around like minded people, which is going right. to make a huge difference. And I used to cringe at the word networking because I'm such an introvert and I'm like, yeah. ah, run yeah. away from the networking. Right, right. I love networking mm -hmm. online. There's so much that you can do to empower yourself and just know that you control a lot of that. Right. Like, don't play victim right. to where you live or who your surroundings are because you right. really can change it. Mm -hmm. Like, you have the power right. to change all of that. So, I mean, we're so lucky in this day and age that we have all of the so just the internet like yeah. people talk about all the negative things about social media and right. and Facebook I choose to look at the powerful wonderful positive things that it can do yeah and I've been able to connect with such amazing people that I can help and at the same time grow my business like what's wrong with that There's like nothing it's stop amazing. apologizing for wanting to be successful mm -hmm. like you don't have to be a poor martyr that. to be a good person I, love that. I can help people and I can make a great income for myself at yeah. the same time because what I do serves people it has a purpose yeah. and and it's worth something yeah and I know people out there have so many amazing right. things that they don't even realize that they can do, and they can do the same. Right. And don't feel bad because you I can know. make a business from it. Got like, it. Actually that empower gives me chills. yourself. That gives me chills. I love yeah. that you should not feel bad for wanting to be successful or for being successful. Yeah. I mean, and that's huge. Like, I know if I was watching this before I started doing what I do, I'd be like, "There's, I could do that. Like, there's hope yeah. for me. So I want people watching this to know that there is a way for them to yeah. do what they want to do whatever and their thing whatever, is, whatever their, their thing powerful is. Exactly. and everyone knows them for yes. being great at that yes. thing you can help teach other people because it's it has value yes totally that is so awesome did we cover all three i think we I did think we did i think we did it was a little scattered but it's in but there. i loved it because there was so <laughs> i think tip number three had like five in it it was like so, five sections that was really yes. good i was like oh my god i think she shared seven and i'm so excited <laughs> so i hope that everyone listening is like wow this has been just one of my favorites. You oh, have you. seriously shared so much. I already feel like I've grown a bunch just hanging out oh, with you. So thanks. I hope that everybody watching this is going to find you, follow you, and just be inspired by you and motivated to go and take action. And I'm, I'm just so thankful for your friendship and for everything that you have taught me too. Oh, thanks. So thank you so much. I love you. Oh, oh we so got to show the shoes. Oh, shoes. Look at our shoes. Woo a good pair of shoes is fun. Yes, it could a very simple outfit, and it's yes. all about the shoes. And it could change a bad day into a good day. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks again. Thank that was you. so much fun. Thank you so much for watching today. Wasn't it great having Tiffany, Coach Glitter, come and share so many awesome tips that we can use starting today? Things that will help us to go and start our own businesses, ways to go and really take action on our dreams. I hope that you are super motivated. I know that I am. And so I really want to hear from you. Make sure that you give me some comments and be sure to go to mollymotivates.com to check out more videos and be sure to share this with a friend who you know could use some inspiration and motivation to go and get their life going in an amazing way. We all have our own ideas and creativity and niches and ways that we can start our own business. So I hope that you have learned today and I can't wait to share more with you.